So the dark man said, I love you and I respect you, Uncle Falana, and I will never do anything to defame or disrespect you. I think it's kind of like responding to the threat from FAS because FAS issued him a warning through his legal advisor and said, See, if you not take back that word you talk about me and my father concerning Bob Riske, I will show you pepe. But uh, very dark man, I don't know if it's a form of apology or if it's a form of responding to FAS and saying that Bego, I don't want you to have a problem. Oh. I was only talking to Bob Risky, but then again, make we listen to that very dark man because the matter is seriously getting heated. Eh? No, be how we expect the matter to be now the bill. Everybody is interested in that particular issue. Bob Risky, no go jail. After being sentenced to jail, do you understand the, gra the gravity of that, uh, of that uh, issue? Do you understand how strong it is? It kind of like compromised everybody. Like kind of like changed the mindset of every Nigeria that indeed some of all those big men, politicians, made they would steal billions. They don't actually take jail. They did some few apartments, selected apartments. Do you know how that feels? Do you know how that feels? Well, they're listening to very dark man and uh, what he has to say to Fas and Falana. All right. Um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano, and I will never, ever, ever defame Uncle Femi Falano. Uncle Femi Falano, SAN, is somebody that I respect 100%. Not because of his position as an as a SAN, but because of what he has used the position to do, representing the likes of me. The likes of me that speak against the ills of the society, abuse of power, abuse of influence, and also the bad dealings of the government. Uncle Falano have represented the likes of me and a lot of other activists. I am not an activist, however, but he has represented a lot of people that I personally know. Now, one other person that I represent that made me love him more is Fela Nikola Pokuti. Fela Nikola Pokuti is a role model to me, and I saw the way he spoke fearlessly. And I emulated everything and I said, if I'll be on this earth, I will say it the way I feel it and I will say it straight up. So imagine Uncle Femi Falano defending somebody like Fela. That means I extended the love to Uncle Femi Falano. Imagine somebody like Fela, Jesus Christ. I mean, Fela came and said, Muhammad Dubari is an animal. And Muhammad Dubari was, an, was the head of state. And Uncle Femi Falano was his lawyer. How then would I defame him? I only reacted to the call Bobriski made, which he put allegations that he, he Bobriski, was the one that alleged that Uncle Femi Falano and Faust connected Uncle Femi Falano and blah, 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 and 10 million naira. Do you understand? And what I said is, I choose not to believe that Uncle Femi Falano will be associated with that. And if I will be disappointed, I will be disappointed because of his position in society and because I know what he represents. Now, I had an option of cutting that video at the part where he mentioned files. Do you understand? But I refuse to because I want an investigation on the matter. I want a thorough investigation on the matter. Now, let me even tell you guys what is funny. I have another one to post which i will post tomorrow that is from a totally different person again do you understand i want a deep investigation on this issue the ESCC was named the controller general of prison was well <clears throat> like i said the matter is wide <laughs> you say you get another one another one is also coming but please i would like to see a video Somebody, somebody called, uh, uh, somebody called uh, uh, Daddy Freeze. Somebody posted, shared this to me. Someone called Daddy Freeze and the person told, eh? The person told Daddy Freeze that there's indeed, hmm, there's indeed a video of Bobriski in that apartment. There's indeed a video of Bobriski in that apartment. I do not really know. I do not really believe, but these are what I want to see. A video of Bobriski in an apartment. 
and again the person should raise up a newspaper you know say newspaper is the is the thing that they can easily get if you want to get somebody and get it they carry a newspaper video the person and also video the newspaper just to confirm the date that person cannot be that in court well i'm trying to look for the video where uh, that the freeze the person called that the freeze and told that the freeze that there is another there is a an evidence of a video of Bobrisky in a, in the apartment in the apartment and if there is a well, lie, what do you think will happen to Bob for example after the whole investigation what do you think will happen to Bob hmm? after the whole investigation what do you think will happen to Bob sorry guys for those of you who are Bob Risky close people close person there that guy, he will go prison. As easy as that. He's going back to serve it, and maybe they will dub one to, you no, know, say six months now they give him. They'll dub one to one year. Abi, now six months they give him now. They'll dub one to one year. They will dub one to one year. So I truly, truly, truly want to see a video evidence. I'm trying to see, look for the video of, uh, of uh, somebody te telling that the freeze that uh, there is a video uh, evidence of uh, Bob Risky in that said apartment. In that said apartment. I tried to find it, but uh, I couldn't. So the thing is, uh, I don't know how they're going to go about all those things. You understand? But just in case, indeed, Bob Risky no go jail. You know, busybody too much. Social media will destroy people, and social media will also uplift people as well. Busybody too much. Busybody too much. They assisted you already. Your jaw, your jaw, your mouth couldn't assist you. They assisted you already. You come out all the way from prison. You don't already do air. Your air is so long. You did the fine. They, they do paparazzi. They do boat crews and everything. That's why I reason her. You should say that girl go jail. She go jail. Because if Bob Ritzke can go to jail and look so good like that, eh? Ah. Then I think we all should go to jail. Yes, so everybody should go to jail. Now, why are we suffering? After all, they are they, they give pasta, uh, shawarma, and so many other food over there. Well, let us uh, move past that. Let's talk about other issues as well concerning the whole matter. And again, when it comes to the money laundry allegation, money laundry allegations and celebrities not having genuine income apart from their music and everything they are doing they still have backup except all those few big power you know they are paid big money we know they are paid big money except them but all those other quick 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 there before you know it according to Shioku Tibeto he said I have been toying for over 20 years and I'm, I am only just building my first house where is the music money coming from? Musician never get to song. He don't buy Lamborghini and Jiwako. Shiokuti queries his colleagues, him, Bob Brisky, Bonnie Laundry, scandal. I know we'll lie you now. Let's be honest. There is serious money content. But Bob Brisky, the only place in they do all those things here now, social media, only Instagram. And Instagram, no, they pay. Now influencers. If she was on YouTube and she has a lot of followers and they are watching her videos very well, then I will vouch for Bob Brisky that yes, indeed, if he made that kind of money. If she was on Facebook and she has an account that is fully verified and also she is making money, huge amount of views, then I will support her. And if she has any other social media, Twitter, that is well paid and she has an account over there, well, I will support her and people are viewing. I will support her, but she won't get any of those things. Let's be honest. 
she no get. Now only paparazzi she did do so. When whenever she want to speak, she said, "My, my, you know, how can we even support person like Bob? How can you even put your mouth? Somebody that has made herself eh, an enemy of, of of social progress, an enemy of social progress." Okay, what what good thing have you ever heard her talk about? This girl has never complained about fuel prices. Oh. She has never complained about your, your horrible situation in Nigeria. What all she do is, is similar to Wash Poppy. Bullying and bullying and oppressing and showing off. Bullying, bullying, oppressing and showing off. Bullying, bullying, oppressing and showing off. So why you will go sit down? The guy, that kind, kind of person. Who do you? Who, who do you? Before you say, hey, think, uh, now Bob Ritz, what they talk about here. She's a human being, good and fine. And she doesn't deserve any injustice. But she is the one who is committing a crime here. And you say she doesn't deserve injustice? We deserve justice. The Nigerian system deserves justice. I do not care if other politicians are getting away with it. Now the one we see, now we hear. If they reveal for all those politicians, we will see talking to. Abba. And guess who revealed it? Now at cho cho cho. Wow, just the talk. Just the talk. They loud. <laughs> we said it now. Which kind of AC can't day kiri kiri like that? <laughs> Which kind of AC can't day kiri kiri like that? Ah. So well, Falana, I think first we take back his lawsuit after very dark man has uh, stylishly apologized. Not be say he apologized outrightly. He apologized to fast father and also kind of way of talk about fast as well. So stylishly that he apologized. And she could you know, even disrespect Fala now because he know what Falana stands for. And we already know exactly what Falana stands for. So if there are any other middle things on it, I do not know, guys. Well, catch you guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay